Hey guys, I'm Lainey Asker here. So I've had a training tip that I want to share with you guys that I've learned. And I've been practicing actually the past couple weeks. We've had a couple clients' horses come in with contact issues. I'm here with my awesome student, Sarah Whitebrook, um, mm -hmm. and Elise Betts' horse, Stromelin, AKA Leopold. Um, and Leo is a very good teacher because if you don't have a good contact with him, he puts his head in the air, right? Um, but if you do create a good contact with him, he puts his head down and he's a very good boy. Um, typical Irishman, right? So at any rate, um, one thing that I've been working on, which I will show you guys in later videos directly following this one, um, and one thing that Sarah is struggling with because she's going to be competing him this weekend, is that a lot of us ride with a little bit of a wider hand, even with a hand like this. For me, it's a little bit too wide, okay? And as I've learned, especially on these younger clients' horses that I've had, when we ride with, I'm, I'm going to come over here, it's easier for me with my bad shoulder. When we ride with a wide hand, guys, it gives us too, too much option for, for play in the rain, right? So the horse, so the, so the feel on the bit, right, is uneven for the horse, and that's why they have an uneven contact, okay? Now, when I tell Sarah, you'll hear me a lot in my lessons tell my students, like Radu tells me, to have my fingernails facing one another. At, with some horses that are a lot greener, I'll tell them to put my fingernail together, right? Or Radu will tell me to put my fingernails literally together, or I'll say narrow hands. What that does, and I can demonstrate this on the ground, is when my fingernails are together, right? Every time, because there's even play in the bit, look what the horse does, right? The horse comes down. And what that does is it creates an even contact in the rain. Good, boy. Good demonstration, Leo. And every horse, every horse that I do this on, they do that, right? Um, and what happens is, is when we have an even contact with our hands so close, that creates the rain A on the side of the neck, but B, the bit's not moving back and forth, so the horse knows exactly where he's meant to go, right? So not only are our fingernails gonna face one another, the hands need to be low, right? And they need to be closed, okay? And that doesn't matter if your reins are a little bit longer, or a little bit shorter, it's just about creating a good contact, a solid contact, an even contact, so the horse understands where he's meant to go, right? And I incorporate that with my stretch work and my dressage work, especially for the younger, more greener horses. And then we begin to ask for flexion once we've established that contact, right? And so I wanted to share that with you guys because that's one thing that I've been seeing a lot in teaching clinics um, and getting horses coming to me with, um, with bad habits or that don't know how to go on the bit. You know, people say, oh, are they problem horses? They're really not problem horses. They just don't understand a contact, right? Or a proper connection. So I hope that helps you guys. I will now follow this up with videos so you can see exactly where the hands are in play. And hopefully this helps. Take care, guys. Cheers. So this is a horse named Scooby, um, AKA Mystery Machine, owned by Chloe Mattern. So off the track thoroughbred, he's a six-year-old. Um, you'll see I don't have a nose band on him, I'm trying to just establish the lightest contact as possible. I know I drive or do crazy with this, but I try to drop nose band, um, and I've sort of just gone with um, normal, regular Cavison, super loose on him. I want less is more. But you'll see with him, um, really, really narrow hands. He is one that, um, obviously, I'm totally riding him totally Lovely. straight. I'm trying to keep my hands even. And, um, and then I incorporate a lot of stretch with him as his reward and gently picking his reins back up. Um, lots of trot to walk transitions there. I gave him a little pet with the inside rein, which you see he kind of liked, but then sort of came against the hand because I sort of, he, he wasn't ready for that amount of softening on the inside rein. The softening needed to come more through my elbows there. Um, but you can sort of see how much better the horse, the horses are becoming with the narrow hand. Um, idea that I was speaking about in the first video on well, the first section of this video um, and the horse just is coming more and more into the contact even better and then towards the end of the work even with the narrow hand I begin to stretch him and um, he stays right there and begins to even follow my hand um, which is the best uh, you'll see in the following video uh, the next horse uh, which is owned by Heidi Sigmund, who's been a longtime student of mine. He is coming up right now. Um, he's a Belgian warm blood. He is a four year old, um, or coming five year old, Waffles, um, AKA Ducati. And he's imported 
last year and he's more of a trickier ride because he's more forward thinking um which i i prefer um and but a little bit more a little bit harder in the mouth than scooby and uh, Radu's really helped me with him with keeping a, a narrow a really really narrow hand I started him off with a shorter rein scooby i rode with a little bit of a longer rein um with uh with waffles had a little bit of a shorter rein just to guide him a little bit straighter initially in the beginning and couldn't do a lot of stretching with him initially only at the end and just like two inches like inch by inch we did the stretch work with him otherwise he literally couldn't understand what the heck i was doing with my reins um Radu also gave me a really intelligent concept of the stretch with him um, with not giving so much inside rain, but stretching a little bit with the outside rain on the circle, which was really helpful to teach the horse. Um, and then gently picking the reins back up and then at the end, stretching evenly the reins. That was another really cool concept. But again, going back to the really low hands, both closed, um, and you'll see just how this horse progresses in his work, um, getting better and better. I had him for a total of a week and Heidi just did her first training level on him at Virginia. And, um, he did beautifully. So hope this helps guys. Cheers.